Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we're going to show you the hairstyle worn by Vanellope Von Schweetz from Disney's new movie Wreck-It Ralph. So if you don't know who this character is, she's the adorable but spunky little girl from Sugar Rush and she's wearing the cute high ponytail full of candy. So we're going to show you how to do that today. So to start with, we have already separated. Vanellope has her bangs parted slightly to one side and then just kind of worn down to frame her face. And so I've gone ahead and done that with her hair already so her bangs are already done. And now we're going to show you how to get the high ponytail. So you just want to pull all of the hair up sort of to kind of where you want it placed. And I'm going to take a brush and just brush all of her hair up. Make sure I get any kind of like giant bumps out. And using a brush to begin with will just help with tangles and not quite pull as hard on their hair. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of hairspray and just spritz all the way around and then take a comb and comb and that's going to help control the flyaways as we kind of detail the ponytail. So again we're just detailing making sure we have it all where we want it. And make sure you don't grab those bangs. You want to leave those out. Thank you. Okay, when you've got your ponytail the way you want it, go ahead and take an elastic and secure it. Okay, now I'm going to add just a little more volume up right here in the top of her ponytail holder by taking this top layer of hair and then I'm just going to tease it a little bit. This is just going to help add a little bit of volume just right there so that from the front you get this nice little high poof and we are good to go with our ponytail okay so what makes Vanellope's ponytail different and unique are all of the sweet treats she has in her hair now she's from the land or the game of sugar rush so of course she's going to be covered in lots of goodies. So we went to the local hobby store and found lots of creative things you can use in the hair, but you can also use your own imagination to come up with things too. Some of the ones we're going to be using are sprees. These are actual candy treats. These are fake Christmas ones. Okay, I found these cute little, um, they're like Christmas ornaments, but they're shaped like little candies. Um, these are like, Desserts, like clip-in desserts. So we have a little milkshake and a pie and a cupcake. And now because um, it's Christmas time, so there's lots of like little garlands with little peppermints on them and things like that that I just cut apart. And I took the peppermints like this and I got these little bobby pins that have these flat edges on them and just hot glued the peppermints right onto the bobby pins so they were ready to use in the hair. And on a few of them, the bigger ones, I also used these little silver alligator clips, which I then hot glued onto the back of the peppermints as well. So that's a great way to put them into the hair. And last but not least, a uh, pull apart Twizzler, like two foot long Twizzler stick. Yeah, it's and our hair. <laughs> we found a package that was like two feet long, and that's what we are going to use, and then cut it down to size. And if you didn't want to use actual licorice, then you can get some yarn like this. This is three strands of yarn just twisted together to make it kind of look like a licorice if you'd prefer that in your hair. So we're going to start with the licorice. And I'm just going to go and tuck it under her ponytail and literally tie like the beginnings of a knot into it so it's tight onto her ponytail holder. And then I'm going to take some scissors and in the pictures I saw Vanellope, it kind of sticks up and so I'm just going to cut those edges so that they're short enough that they'll kind of just stick out like that. And we'll just leave it like that. And then we're going to add, I am going to just go ahead and put a couple peppermints in the front and maybe lift that little licorice up, slide that peppermint in because I want to hide that clip. And I might even do a cute little, I want to do one more peppermint, I think, on this other side. I'm going to spin her around. Now, I just have kind of 
used some pictures I found online as a visual reference on where to place some of these pieces and you can kind of just stick them wherever you want until you think it looks perfect. And we will come back in just a minute and show you our finished product. So we have finished our Vanellope hairdo and we have added all of our lovely candy and I'll spin around in just a second so you can see. But quickly before I forget to tell you, I did use a bunch of these in her hair and I forgot to show these earlier. They, I found these in the craft or the scrapbooking section of my hobby store and they're just these little colored dots that are sticky on the other side. They're like little stickers and so they just stuck right in her hair and they were perfect to look like little candy sprinkles. And I'll turn her. Here's one side and we used our spree and our peppermint and our little fake piece of candy along with many other sprinkles through the ponytail. And then on this side, we just used some clips that we had in the house to add a little heart and a star. And again, the peppermints and the sprees. And then the sprinkles through the bangs. I have a question. What? Can I eat my hair? I guess you could eat your hair. That would be an added bonus to this hairstyle is if you get hungry, you always have a good snack hidden in your hairstyle. It's definitely a delectable hairstyle for sure. Don't forget, we have our hidden Mickey again in this video, and it's not in the same place that it was last time. So leave a comment below if you find where the Mickey is, just saying, I found it. Make sure you don't say where it is so you don't ruin the surprise for those other people looking. We hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.